What up everybody, how's it going? Matt Sweets here again in the Sweets studio and I've got a great tutorial for you today. We are going to be learning how to do the handle stall flip. So if you haven't learned handle stall, go check that one out, get honed, and then we're going to teach you how to flip it right here, right now. So, for the handle stall flip, the first thing you want to do is pull up a good handle stall. And just like any good handle stall, we want to make sure that our pinky is right on the handle stall. Then our brain knows where to land the trick. And now we're gonna go down and when we go to flip it, we can't flip it too fast because if we flip it too fast, it's gonna have a really hard time locking in. So we wanna throw it just a little bit slower than we normally would on an earth turn and bend our knees a lot because we only have this little space to land on, unlike the bird where we have the spike to land it on as well to give us some balance. Now we don't have that. Now we're just free wheeling, trying to get it to land. To get that flip timed perfectly, to land on that little handle stall, not an easy task but with a little practice and a lot of focus you're able to do it you really have to concentrate on landing that tama on your pinky so as that ball is flipping you have to start bending your knees as it's getting to it and you really have to recoil a lot with this trick and what I mean by that is when the ball is flipping and it comes to land you really have to bend your knees a lot to catch this or else it's going to fall off most every time so Knees are always important, but with this trick, it's doubly so. This trick, more than any other, it's really important to have a good tracker dama because when that handle stall is coming around, it's a lot easier to eye up that white knowing that you have time to land it. When it's a solid color tama, it's really difficult to eye up that hole. You have a lot less time to see where it's going to land and how to adjust. Also, Sweets Kendamas has all its five stripe and its sports stripe damas on sale right now, so you can go snag one today and get tracking. Okay, we're at the end of the tutorial now, and we need to wrap up what we've learned today about doing the handle stall flip. So first off, we need to get a good handle stall honed in. Next, we wanna bend our knees a lot and throw a nice, easy earth turn, not too fast, because we won't be able to track it. On the way around, we really need to bend our knees a lot and make our hand fall in order to catch that tama and it has a nice place to land. If you do all of those things, you should be getting closer to landing your first handle stall flip, if you've done it once before, try flipping to the ring stall. That's a really fun addition to this trick to make it just a little bit more difficult. The ring stall is a little skinnier and it's a little harder to land on, but it's a fun challenge. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you like it, make sure you give it a like. Go comment below another trick you want to see. And we'll see you next time in the Sweet Studio. Peace.